Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're kicking off our second video in the new A Plus series, and we're doing another performance-based questions. This one is about data and video connectors. Now, before we get into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software for a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's begin. All right, so we're doing another performance-based question for CompTIA A Plus today. We're starting off on the easy side of things. Most people are gonna be somewhat familiar with this already. And this one's covering data and video connectors. It's definitely good to know this stuff regardless. So let's go ahead and jump right in and start answering this PBQ. All right, we'll start off by getting the easy ones out of the way. This little connector here at the very top left is called Lightning. This is gonna be used to charge the current generation of Apple iPhones and older generations of iPads as well. So lightning connector, I have the iPhone 13 in my pocket, the 14 is still on lightning, they're talking about doing USB-C, but this is an Apple uh, connector used for charging right now iPhones and old iPads. Now the next thing that we can grab from over here is HDMI. You probably use these if you have a gaming console or any sort of, or even a DVD or Blu-ray player. The HDMI connector is gonna transfer video and audio through a single port, and you can find them on TVs and some laptops and PCs as well. So HDMI looks like this here. We'll drag that one in. Now this one would probably already look familiar to you as well. This is a cable that was frequently used with a lot of accessories, so Bluetooth speakers, uh, old Android phones, this used to be a very, very popular choice. A lot of things are USB-C now, but this guy here is called micro USB. So we'll drag that one up. Now USB-C is what we're seeing a lot of. This computer has that. The new iPads are gonna have that. It's gonna be on most new laptops and PCs. And USB-C is this one here. So we'll drag that. Now we have another one up here similar to micro USB. Again, this might charge some of your accessory devices or it might be connecting some of your external peripherals. Mini USB, uh, you don't see it a whole lot anymore, but that's what this one looks like here, so we'll drag that over. Now the next one here, I already dragged and dropped it, is DisplayPort. It looks pretty similar to HDMI, and it acts similar to HDMI, but it's gonna be more commonly found on PCs than TVs. And in most cases, it can still carry over high definition video as well as audio. Now the next one that we can take from the left here is called VGA. Now VGA can be used to connect analog computer monitors to other monitors or TVs. Uh, it's not gonna be super common, but you will still see these. I actually have one set up in my living room over here. So we'll take this guy and we'll drag it over. And then this last one here is DB9. Uh, the nine stands for nine pins. This is kind of the same thing as the VGA, but the VGA uh, connectors will most commonly have the 15 pin connectors today. So drag that over. And those are the data and video connectors. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found the video helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, be sure to check out those links in the description if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.